Hi, if you are in a season where you have young children, especially if you have a lot of young children at one time and you're feeling overwhelmed or like you just can't get all the things done one day, I wanted to offer some advice and encouragement, especially encouragement today. A wise older mother who has eight children gave me this advice when I was in a season where we had four children and the oldest one was five. I felt like I just could not get my act together. My name is Kayla Rutan. I'm a homeschooling mom to five littles. My oldest is currently eight. We do the GAPS diet, we homeschool. We have a lot going on with our home-based businesses that we've been growing at the same time as our family. So I love to share advice, encouragement, and systems that have worked for me to help people shape their bodies, shape their lives throughout these various stages of womanhood and motherhood. My wise friend, Linda, the mom of eight, shared with me that everything gets a lot easier when your oldest one turns seven. And boy, is that true. When you are in the thick of things and you have three children that, um, you know, they're all younger than five, it can be super hard, super long, overwhelming days. And I've been there and um, I'm on the other side to testify. We have added more babies to our family since then. But now that our oldest ones are seven, or excuse me, eight and six, things are just so much easier. There's a lot of reasons why that is, but basically the littler ones follow the lead of the older ones. They keep each other busy. They're all great friends and um, just being, you know, playing in the same room, the babies are busy. I'd go on and on, but just trust me, it gets better when the oldest is seven. Second thing I did to get me through that season that has brought us into our current season, you've probably heard me talk about this a lot, is to drastically reduce the number of items in your house. As moms, we have so many things to manage and once we start adding children, we have all of their things to manage as well. I recently read an article by LA Times that the average American home has 300,000 items in it. Like, no wonder why we feel overwhelmed managing our things. Get rid of a lot of it. You can drastically reduce probably 50% of your wardrobe, all of your children's, your husband, that just drastically reduces on laundry. And the second thing to go has got to be extra dishes. When you're in a season of a lot of young children, less is more as far as toys go. Get some of those evergreen toys that are open-ended, magnet tiles, costumes, sticks, blocks, <laughs> things that they can um, use for multiple purposes to play with. And lastly, just encouragement that the season will not last forever. So while you are in the three children who are younger than five stages, it is okay to outsource. Outsourcing can look different for different people. It can be financially outsourcing to have somebody help you with your chores. It can be swapping children for date nights with another mom that you know every Friday. It can be grocery pickup. It can be automating your bills online. And once the oldest one is seven, it gets so much easier to outsource all of those family chores within the family. Seven-year-olds are very capable of cooking a lot of their own meals, picking up after themselves, doing laundry, all of those sorts of things. So if you're in that season, be encouraged. It doesn't last forever. You can continue to expand your family without the worry or concern that every child is just gonna bring so much more overwhelm. Our family is my biggest blessing and I wanted to pass on that wisdom that I clung to, that encouragement that Linda gave me when I was in that season to you. Motherhood is challenging and it doesn't have to be lonely. If you find this kind of content helpful, I do release videos like this often. Click the follow button and drop the word list if you want to know more options of how to make motherhood better, easier, and more fun. Motherhood is better when we do it together.